we left our last example where we were wanting to find the average velocity for a particle moving under this position versus time function um, after three seconds. Okay, so we're going to assume that our initial position is zero, okay, and then we're going to calculate the final position after three seconds, which is going to be and 4.9 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4.9 is 44.1. And so this is going to be 50.1 meters. So the object um, has traveled 50.1 meters in the three second time interval. So now to calculate the average velocity, Okay, so if you take 50.1 and divide it by 3, you'll get 16.7. 16.7 meters per second. Now, if you recall, the um, average velocity or the instantaneous velocity was in the 30s. And you might be tempted to look and say, oh, 16.7 might be almost exactly half. Of, of that value. It's not exactly and we will see why in the future. I'm going to leave that for you to see if you can figure out um, under what conditions the average velocity is exactly half of a final instantaneous velocity. Um, I'll leave that to you to see if you can figure out but it is close I will tell you that much. It doesn't always have to be but there is a special set of circumstances where the average velocity will always be half of the final or instantaneous velocity over the same given time interval. Okay, All right we'll leave that there.